I am here to help support the annual NAMI Walk, which is our big, huge annual fundraiser that we do to support the people that have mental illness and the families trying to take care of the people that have mental illness and their friends. And this is our big annual donation time to help with our programs. My name is Cindy Curry and I am the walk manager for, for NAMI Walks and NAMI Walks is the single fundraiser for NAMI that we have every year where we have about 500 people walking with us this year. We've got 44 teams and we come here to show awareness for mental illness and also to do donations for NAMI. Why are they coming out to walk? Because they either have friends or family members that are uh, suffering from some type of mental illness and they want to help with the uh, extent of, uh, I'd say, uh, research for new uh, ideas and new medicines that will help people live a better life that are suffering from mental illness. My name is Jackie Valdez and um, I'm with NAMI Westside. We are walking just like anyone would walk for breast cancer or diabetes or any other illness. We amount to families helping families, um, trying to provide education, advocacy and support. We would like to make an awareness in the community that we do exist and that we, we are a, a resource for families. My name is Sarah Fisher and uh, I'm here to support all of the families and the consumers that suffer from uh, challenges with their mental health and I think this is a really important thing because the states and, and the um, opportunities to get their needs fulfilled are not being met um, nationally and state and locally, regionally. I think it's really important that we have more opportunities for the people who are challenged. I think we need more beds in this state. We need more funding. Uh, and the consumers themselves need more understanding and support. I think that education is a huge uh, circumstance, that it, challenge that we all face because so many people are unaware that mental health issues are medical health issues as well and they're just misunderstood and co consequently they're mistreated in a lot of situations. My name is Wendy Wells and my grandfather suffered from schizophrenia in, um, early on and he was hospitalized and he died in a mental institution. In terms of our family, it was um, living with somebody who is a paranoid schizophrenia, who d was not able to have access to medication and it really was living with total chaos and fear and uh, unpredictability, you know, job loss, and of course the stigmatization, you know, of our family being different, of being, you know, strange, weird, what did we do to create that, what, ha you know, the whole thing. And um, so it was a sad time for my family. I think education is a huge thing. It's an awareness. I think that the stigma will go as people are more willing to say to people, my child has bipolar disorder, uh, or my grandfather has schizophrenia, or this, you have to be able to talk about it without fear of, of that yourself being rejected or your consumer having more challenges as a result of having mental illness in their family. I, I can't think of anything that has been more helpful to me. I have a daughter who has bipolar disorder. She also has ADD. She has panic and anxiety. It took over 10 years for her to be properly diagnosed. And that was a huge challenge. Uh, those 10 years were miserable in terms of trying to find not only the right medications, but the right therapist that she was willing to engage with. There are so many different challenges, but I think uh, the stigmatization is a huge thing. I think the med mental health professionals need to be more sensitive also to the needs of the families in terms of understanding. I think the HIPAA laws have actually uh, made it more difficult for family members to be able to be advocates for the consumers. So I think there are many challenges, but I think that the most important thing we can do is be vocal about it and educate the public. And, and the families have to educate themselves. The, the family to family workshops are of a huge benefit. And I think the more families that take them and the more we're able to engage uh, people even beyond the families to participate in those workshops will really help 
to create an understanding. I am Good morning. Um, we have probably about 400 walkers here. I bet you we have even more than that. And I'm so proud of every one of you. Thank you for what you're doing for us for NAMI. Oh,